I'm Michael Bickford. I'm Michael's father. Well, on his own. Um, I have not been sitting next to him every day, coaching him and talking. We do talk about his polo. We talk about his business. Uh, he has another life, which requires him to actually work for a living. Um, and this is uh, a pursuit that uh, both of my boys, they're three and a half years apart, is Michael and my son John, and they both play polo. John's in California, and Michael's here in England. And it has been uh, something they both saw me play. Um, I played for 30 years or so, and they saw me play when they were younger. Um, but I never encouraged them to play polo. Um, I played at a 8 and 10 goal polo. I never played um, at 16 or 22 or 26 goal polo. Um, and I never anticipated that they would do this. One has to be careful as a parent to be careful what they do because they set examples. Uh, and those examples are sometimes unintentional and sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad. Um, so it's an awesome responsibility. And when they do um, do something that you've done that's a positive thing, um, you become very proud as a parent. I was, I was not there. I had a, another commitment in the but, States. And, but you have a chance now. But I promised him that I would be here for this. So I came for the quarterfinals and um, I had to do some praying this afternoon to, <laughs> to hope that it was going to change. And it did. I'm very excited for him. Um, you know, to be able to play in the Queen's Cup and nearly win it, um, except for a, a slight uh, uh, escape by the best player in the world, Adolfo. Um, uh, they could have won that. Um, to be able to come through that and, and win, they were they were very excited. And uh, this is an incredible team. And now to be here for the Gold Cup and the British Open, uh, I'm very proud of them. Uh,